I'm Jess. I'm Scotty. And I'm your host, Dawson. And you're watching On, On the, the Clock. Clock. All right, welcome back to On the Clock. Uh, Jace is hobbling his way over here, so we'll begin momentarily. Welcome back. So, uh, the NFL Conference Championships, we had the Eagles and the 49ers. Uh, the Niners had some QB issues, you could say. Um, Purdy injured his elbow on the sixth offensive play for the Niners, and then Joshua Johnson, who uh, joined the, the team December 6th, was forced to come in. He uh, suffered a concussion early in the third, uh, forcing them to make a tough decision. Do you bring Brock Purdy in? Do you risk the future of your entire franchise? Um, or do you use one of your emergencies, who is uh, either Kyle Hughes-Check, their fullback, or uh, their running back, Christian McCaffrey? Scott, do you want to talk about uh, Christian McCaffrey and uh, Kyle Hughes-Check at quarterback a little bit? Yeah, during our research, yeah. I kind of thought, you know, maybe they ran some Wildcat stuff in high school. No, yeah, he did play punter, though, oddly enough. Punter? Punter, yeah. He was a punter. Yeah, because he was a punter. You said he was a punter, receiver, corner, and running back. But, um, has Kyle Ustrick ever played? So, he's been in the NFL for about 10 years now, um, and he's been listed as an emergency QB uh, before, yeah. but he's never thrown a pass, actually. It was kind of weird. Um, so, Jace, what were your thoughts on that game? It was kind of a blowout. Um, I mean, yeah, it was kind of a not, not the best game for uh, the 49ers fan base. It was a 31-7. to didn't get to see much of it, but I mean, yeah, seeing the two quarterbacks that are kind of listed on the roster of like the only two quarterbacks they have go down, they have to go to the emergency and McCaffrey and Hughes check. So I mean, they played. I mean, they kind of did a couple things with Debo and I think yeah, they were McCaffrey, stuff. but so. and then Brock Purdy did come back in. I he just didn't he throw just, it very much. It was just running the ball and maybe a few short passes. But I know I saw some this morning or some. He tore his UCL, I think. Okay, because I'd heard it was UC. just like, uh, a, like a strain or something. No, he, he tore his like UCL and he's out. He's like sidelined for six weeks. Yeah. Okay, so it was a legitimate injury. So. Um, and then moving on to the much more. Sorry for that, everybody. We had some uh, technical difficulties. We don't exactly remember where we left off, but uh, we're gonna pick up with the Chiefs and Bengals game. Um, so the Chiefs and the Bengals, um, it was a much more competitive game. Uh, Patrick Mahomes played well with about 325 yards with two touchdowns. Scott, or Jace, what do you think of the receivers? Uh, receivers, MVS had a couple huge catches, a six for 166 yards and a touchdown. I mean, uh, Kelsey had seven for 79 and a touchdown. And Pacheco kind of, I think he had five for 59. And I mean, there wasn't much run game considering they only ran for about 42 yards like total. So I mean. It was a really good game for like the receiving people. Yeah, no, it was a very competitive game. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Um, very entertaining. Um, what did you think of Joe Burrow and the Bengals? Um, not Burrowhead. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Tell the mayor to stick what he's good at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know mayor. your role. Hey, mayor. Hey, shut your mouth, you Brojoni. <laughs> <laughs> That was probably the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, and you could tell they did not want Travis to no, get they, no. they did not want Travis on the mic, but of course the whole city of Kansas City and all, all of Missouri wanted him to get on that mic. Imagine going to Cincinnati College and then you go to KC and you just, just clown Cincinnati. And uh, But I think Burrow kind of didn't look... like He looked, he looked level, fine. He looked level-headed. Yeah. He didn't... But he didn't. Uh, he didn't rise to the occasion. No, like he normally does. They got the ball, and you can all the them talking about the refs. But I feel like that happens every game, every conference championship. Whoever loses, it's the refs. Like, like the refs. if you look at the clip, we're not going to put it up here because I don't know if we're going to be able to find it. But the ref was running onto the field. Like even let's say we would have scored a seventy-yard touchdown or whatever, it would have gotten called back anyways. It didn't even matter. We punted the ball later that drive. Later. Like, and you can talk about all the holding calls. You don't call every holding. There's probably majority of plays there is holding on the play. Oh, yeah. I can confirm majority of the plays I hold. I get called two or three times. They That's can't about call it. them every time. Yeah. There's, there's, you're not going to play a football game when you're calling 50 holdings a game. And so, but I think he played all right. I just don't think he made the plays that we're used to seeing Joe Burrow. <laughs> like, when he got the ball two minutes to go, 
I got a little scared. It's, mm, like, it's Joe Burrow. Like, Joe Burrow. like his heart rate stays the same. It doesn't rise. Like he's he's that dog. And it was Mahomes on a bad ankle with backup receivers, just lighting him up. Yeah, we had we were pretty banged up. It was Juju th- was out I think, mm-hmm. at the time. MVS was out for a little bit. Kelsey was hurting. Kelsey was hurting with a back back injury. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and our receiver, wide receiver one was probably Sky Hard- Moore at the time. Hardman was hurt. Tony was hurt. Yeah, I think Sky Moore was our wide receiver one in that fourth Which quarter. Which is scary. Holy. He yeah. did have that big punt return, though. I was sitting there. I was like, man, all year he's let us down. Like, he's got to redeem himself right here. And boy, did he. That was nice. Um, Joe Mixon, though, he only had eight carries for 19 yards. He only played 35% of offensive snaps. Um, normally he plays about 65. P. Ryan got in the game a little bit more. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, he's a solid back. But they had about 71 rushing yards. Um so, yeah, the defense stepped up big time. They played well. Um, all right, so we're going to go do a quick commercial break, and on the other side of that, we're going to break down the KUK State game tonight, uh, talk a little bit about WSU and the rest of the NCAA field. Being a part of Rock Solid does take its toll on the crew. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay Rock Solid. Cut! After we finish, we have to do it all over again for the foreign exchange students. Buenos dias, amigo. Ben tiene un pequeño. All right, welcome back. So we got a big one tonight, the Sunflower Showdown Part 2. Uh, this time it's going to be in Allen Fieldhouse. KU, uh, two and three in the last five games. They got a pretty good win over Kentucky the other night, K-State. Um, three and two, big win over uh, Florida at home. So, Jace, how do you guys feel uh, like you're coming into this game? Uh, I mean, we're coming into this game pretty. I feel like we're coming in good. We just snapped a three-game losing streak. I'm I mean, you guys for that. You know, we, I would have uh, been really scared to play you guys if you guys were on a four-game skid. Like, there would be no shot like that we would win if you guys were zero and four in your last four. Like, I would be shaking in my boots. Yeah, I mean, we lost like K State. I mean, a couple and then a few good teams in TCU and Baylor. I mean. We coming off those losses. I mean, it's two two good teams in a row. So I mean, and then coming off Kentucky. <laughs> so. Three good teams in a row. I know you can't do numbers very well, but that's three good teams: K State, TCU, Baylor. Well, you just said you beat ISU, and they just lost to Texas Tech, a team that has not won the conference play yet. <laughs> so I don't say that's a good team. <laughs> what? Texas Tech hasn't won a conference game yet. Yeah, and they just beat TCU I, and oh yeah, okay. But <laughs> ISU solid. Yeah, but uh, so I mean I feel good, and uh, the loudest gym in the country. So I don't know, I feel good. I don't know if I'd say loudest gym in the country. I mean, uh, Coach K or uh, what is it? Dude, uh, Charles Coke Arena. That's okay. what it was. Yeah, uh, they get pretty rowdy yeah. in there. Charles speaking Co- of them, how are they doing? Speaking of Charles Coke Arena, um, eleven and ten, over five hundred. You got Houston today. No, we got Houston Thursday. Oh, okay, we are locked in mentally, ready for that game. When you guys beat Houston, are you guys maybe a tournament team? We are a tournament team. You are the tournament. We're in the NIT, baby. <laughs> uh, we're going to come into this game at Coke Arena. The crowd's wild and biggest show out we've had all year. Usually we're at half capacity. <laughs> no one comes out to support the team anymore. But I think this night we get a packed house. We got number three Houston in the building. They're going down. Their second loss in conference play. Who did they lose for the first time? They lost this. Temple, I think it was. Oh, okay. Temple beat them. Uh, but we're gonna we're, we're beating them. Number three in the country. Don't matter. Uh, Craig Porter Jr. <laughs> so you're telling me you're gonna have a packed house against the third ranked team in the country? From yeah. the third ranked team, it's gonna be their fans back in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you will see a lot Houston, of red. Houston, Houston, what, a seven and a half hour drive? Houston's it's not bad. Coming down you, to you, might see, you, you might see more red than yellow in that stadium. Hey, I think... Some might be KU fans. <laughs> hey, I think we should uh, try to talk to Browning about using the rest of our budget to go down to the game. <laughs> it probably costs more in gas money to get tickets. Cost more in gas money than it would to get the tickets. Three more fans than they have. <laughs> okay, um, so we're finally bringing the drafts back. Uh, this week we are going to do a TV character draft. Um, the goal, I don't know if I communicated this very well, was to have TV characters, not movie characters, but like Spider-Man, he's got his own TV show, so like he counts. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, who wants first pick? 
don't care. All right, Scotty, you want to? We'll go this way. Um, I'm gonna go with an icon. Uh, we're we're all kind of we were all kids at one point, you know. We all watched this show. SpongeBob. Good Sponge. pick. Very, Very good pick. Oh, and I don't have my pencil. That's great. All right. <laughs> Well, I would have taken him at the 1-1. One, one. I'm glad I can get him at the 1-2. Uh, the office, I'm going to go Michael Scott. Yeah. Yep, I had them up there too. Uh, Mine too. Mm -hmm. So I get back to back here. I'm going to go... This guy said I could never do this. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, you said I can do this. I'm going to go Tom and then Jerry. Oh, the dynamic yeah. duo. Okay, I, said I, duo really like, I really like that backcourt. All right. Oh, <laughs> backcourt. With my... Horn here. I think I can get him on. I, I think I can get him on the other side here. I'm gonna go. Don't let him get SpongeBob in. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's, that's a duo right there. Yeah, I'm. Who did you take first? SpongeBob. All right, I'm gonna go Patrick. Let's go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with. I got my. I got two picks in a row here. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I'm gonna go Carlton Banks from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, uh, I feel like he's just an icon. When we were kids, it was kind of a big show at the time, um, especially the song, the intro. I mean, we all know. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go more of a recent recency bias. John B. Rutledge. Oh, wow. John B. Rutledge, February twenty third, season three. But watch out, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your head, boy. The first, the first night it comes out, it is it. I'm watching the whole show. Bro, do I take... Okay. I'm coming no. for your head. That's who I... Ooh, wait, I forgot. I'm going to go Walter White from Breaking Bad. Uh, I had him up there. I was mad about that John B. pick, but then I looked up and I saw like, yeah, Walter I'm White on. and like... Did you yeah, have right him? here. Right here, John B. All right. <laughs> mm. Wait, so who do you pick from Fresh, Pr Fresh Prince? Uh, Carlton, Day or Carlton Banks. Is that Will Smith? Is that yes. Will Smith? Yeah, okay, sorry, yeah. yeah. I don't know if like weird... All right. Hmm. All right, you go. This has Thanksgiving and Christmas. You're at a Christmas party. You get this big of a pizza slice. You're watching Charlie. Oh, oh Charlie Brown? Yep. Yeah, good pick. Really good pick. And, oh, it's my pick again. I think. Hmm. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Pope. I mean, he's, he's smart up here. Yeah, yeah. Smart, so. Me, personally, I probably would have gone JJ over Pope. I'm, but <laughs> I'd rather... We have smarts and anger issues. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. There's a lot of good people left. All right. I'm going to go Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. I like that I think I know who this guy is going to look right here. I'm sorry. I could go the younger route. But I think I'm going to go with the dynamic duo here. My, uh oh. My final mm -hmm. two picks. I'm going to go Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to back that up with young Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Um so this this is my last pick, right? Alright, so to recap, I got Michael Scott, Patrick Starr, Walter White, and Peter Griffin. I feel like I need some cartoon characters. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Scooby Doo. Good pick. So this is the last pick? Yes, this is your last pick. The Mr. Wow. Irrelevant, the Brock Purdy of the T V show draft. Hmm, who's, who's like bro? Oscar the Grouch. Shut up. No. Okay. Elmo. Oscar's more iconic. Right, I'm going to go Obi-Wan. Ooh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He, he's one. underrated. All right, so some guys that I had down. I, I had 27 guys on my list because I was really bored. Um, some guys that I had that didn't get drafted. Uh, Rick and Morty. I had that. Uh, Jim Halpert. Snoopy. Bugs Bunny. Uh, Dwight Schrute. Jim Halpert. Uh, Saul Goodman, um, and I think that's all my notable ones. Eleven from Stranger Things. Oh, Yogi Bear and Shaggy, um, oh. and then uh, Homer Simpson, Bart Simpson, Stewie Griffin, Elmo, Elmo. Eleven from Stranger Cookie Things. Monster. My, was my Cookie Monster. Oh, I didn't even think of like the Stranger Things. Route. I've never seen it. I hear it's overrated. Oscar the Grouch. Just like uh, Outer Banks is overrated. No, bro. <laughs> I'm so ready for February 23rd. But... All right, well, we can just talk about this for about an hour. We're going to wrap this up before this spirals out of control. Uh, we'll be back next Tuesday. Yeah, um, yeah we're, we're in school. Um, I think we might debut a new draft type. Uh, it's where two of us will know the category and the other won't. Yeah. Um, might try that out, some new things. Um, but we'll probably focus more NBA next week because there won't be much going on in the NFL world. But uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.